It was Cindy Axney, labor leaders, environmental leaders, and the U.S. Labor Secretary all at this event in Des Moines. The Labor Secretary said that employers need immigrants. Employers want immigration reform. Employers need workers. Employers that are strongly leaning Republican want immigration reform. Employers that are strongly leaning Democrats want immigration reform. There's many members of both parties, the Democrats want immigration reform, some members of the Republican Party, but they're, they're afraid to take it up because of the politics around it. And I think we have to put aside the politics. Uh, we have 11 million job openings in the United States of America. We have 5 million people eligible for those job openings. If every single able body went to work today in America, we'd have 6 million openings. We can't, invent, we can't create people, so we really need immigration reform. And I think that there's a way to, to do immigration reform that also it, it addresses the border. You could have almost said that exact same answer 15 years ago, though. Yeah, and 15 years ago, you had a little bit of bipartisan support that you could get some Democrats and Republicans in a room to pass. I mean, I'll tell you right now, I think the biggest, everyone's talking about inflation and, 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 and recession. The biggest single threat, in my opinion, to our economy right now is, is, is not having enough workers, is immigration. If we don't deal with it, that'll be, that'll be challenging, that, that's something that our country, you can't, we will we'll have a hard time recovering from because right now is when we need to get the reform packages through so we can get these pathways, pipelines. We educate kids in our colleges in America that come from overseas, and when they're done, unless they get a visa, we kick them out. Think about that for a minute. We're the, probably the only nation, industrialized nation in the world that educate people in their country, and when they're done being educated, we don't let them work here. Now, while immigration is primarily a federal matter, I asked Axney if the state could also have a role in this. I wish there could be. I, I really don't think there is. I think, you know, right now what we could be doing is expanding, you know, the numbers of visas that we have in, in the necessary areas that we, we need them in right now. I can talk about health care providers that have been in my office nonstop. You know, we need to expand opportunity um, in that arena. Obviously, you just talk agriculture. We've got all these great paying jobs now uh, in, in construction that we just don't have enough workers for. So it does have to come at a federal level, quite honestly. Are there some things that the state could probably do? My guess is yes, if the governor really felt that, you know, that she wanted to. There's nobody left here to ha come to work, Dave. I mean, we've been sitting at, you know, somewhere between 3.2 to 3.7 unemployment for decades, right? For a long time, my goodness, when I was at the state of Iowa, it was right around 3.5. We're down to 2.6. As the secretary said, we just don't have anybody left. They're, they're, the folks that aren't working, it's not that they can't. They're taking care of somebody, um, and they don't have that opportunity. It, it has to come with immigration reform. I don't even think at a state level you could do enough to get to where we need. That's why this has to be at a federal level. But I'm gonna tell you, I've said this to folks all along, there's not enough courage in too many members out in Washington to get this done. I'm willing to come to the table, I've said this since my very first run, to work on a full immigration reform package. But we have people who aren't courageous enough because they're afraid they're gonna lose an election. Well, you shouldn't even be running for office if that's your concern. Your concern should be to do what's right by your constituents. And as the secretary said here, if we don't fix this, we're struggling here in Iowa because we unfortunately also have a governor and a Republican legislature, you know, that doesn't want to put the funding behind our public schools, you know, that doesn't want to support opportunity for outdoor, you know, activities and expansion for wonderful ways to keep young people here, uh, cultural events, that kind of thing. So if we don't work on all those things in tandem, we're going to struggle here. Next, the guests her opponent brought together.